Hi, I'm Rob, and today we're looking at how to solve your out of space C drive is full issue in Windows. We'll go through a bunch of solutions, apart from the obvious of deleting any files you don't need. C drive is most commonly the Windows operating system drive, and if it's full, you'll have a bunch of problems such as Windows slowing to a crawl, being unable to update Windows with important security updates, and not being able to install new apps. For optimum performance, it's best to have at least some free space on hard drives, and SSDs work fastest when they have at least 50% free space on them. One way to get extra space is by extending your C drive with partition software. EaseUS Partition Master can do this, as long as you have enough space to install it. Download it from the link in the video description. Once installed, run it, and you'll see a low disk space alert. Click the button to extend C drive automatically. EaseUS Partition Master will automatically allocate space to your C drive to solve this issue. You can also manually adjust if you prefer by dragging the dots to the right to add more space. Click OK to confirm. Once you're happy with it, execute the command to complete the allocation. Disk Cleanup is a Windows built-in tool that you can use to delete some temporary files. Click this PC, then right click on C drive and select properties. In Disk Cleanup, select the files you want to delete and click OK. If Windows installation files, such as the windows.old folder shows up, check and delete them. This will help to free up a lot of space. You can also go further by cleaning up system files. There's a description for each if you're wondering what is being removed. A lot of temporary files are generated by Windows OS, which may take up a lot of space on the system C drive. To find temporary files, go to your search box and type system. Then select storage. You can turn on storage sense to automatically free up space and look at the cleanup recommendations or check out the categories for files you might not need. Make sure to clean the recycle bin regularly if you don't already. Deleted files can quickly start taking up a lot of space and Windows keeps them for 30 days or longer by default. Check if there's anything you need there before you empty it. The easiest way to empty the recycle bin is from the desktop. Right click the recycle bin and select empty recycle bin. Or you can double click to go into it and choose individual files to empty by right clicking on them. As you add new software and make updates, a lot of files will be generated that you may no longer need. You can easily scan and delete large files with the EaseUS Partition Master Suite for free. Download and install the EaseUS Partition Master Suite linked in the video description. Click the download icon on PC Cleaner to install and launch EaseUS Clean Genius. Select Clean Up on the main screen and click Scan. When the scanning process completes, Select large files you don't need and click clean to remove them. Another way to free up C drive space is to transfer big files and installed programs to another drive. You can manually copy big files from C drive to other non-system drives on your PC. To migrate the C drive and installed programs, you can use PC transfer software like EaseUS to do PC trans for help. Its local app migration feature will do the job for you. If there's nothing you can delete, you might need to upgrade your storage drive 
or add another one. The disk copy feature in EZAS Partition Master has the ability to help you upgrade to a larger drive. This way, you don't need to reinstall the operating system and applications. Select the target drive. Click Next to continue. The program warns it will wipe out all data on the target drive. If you have important data on the target drive, back it up first. Adding a new drive is the easiest method to gain additional storage. It could be either an internal or external USB drive. Once you've got the new drive up and running, you can move large files to free up space on C drive. So, we've looked at a bunch of options. I hope you found a solution to your full C drive issue. For more great tips in the future, like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.